Quentin Tarantino's movies are notorious for being gruesome, gory, and filled with foul language. But imagine if you were able to watch his films and filter out all the bad stuff. Very well. VidAngel is a company that allows viewers to stream movies and TV shows with the offending bits blocked. Dexter Thomas went to the company's home state of Utah to see if clean sells. Over half a million customers have signed up to use VidAngel. It's popular among people with conservative or religious values who want to filter out certain content, even if that means affecting the storyline or the director's artistic vision. Elizabeth Lane says she uses VidAngel to avoid watching things that trigger traumatic memories. I started using VidAngel probably about six months ago. A friend introduced it to me. We were having a conversation about um, things that made us not feel so good and that we didn't like to see. She said, hey, there's actually this software that can do that for you, um, rather than, you know, like sticking your fingers in your ears or covering your eyes. So. Welcome, blessed soul, to movie heaven, where we have but one glorious streaming service, VidAngel. VidAngel's business model is simple. You buy a movie for $20, set your filters, and watch. When you're done, you can sell the movie back for a $19 credit. In the end, the movie ends up costing you about $1. Neil Harmon is the CEO of VidAngel. He started the company with his four brothers to keep offensive imagery out of his household. This is our receiving vault. Okay. Um, all FedEx and UPS bring the content here, so they bring physical DVDs and Blu-rays. So this is not the actual vault where everything is held? No, this is a couple of days of discs. Why do you have discs? In order for somebody to watch a filtered movie, the law says they need to have an authorized copy of the movie. This is Jurassic World, so there's dinosaurs eating people, there's swearing, there's all that sort of thing. So I can click into this. And so our current filter on it is looking like that. So it's just a quick cut out of it. Yeah, because of the language of the Family Media Act, we can only use audio mutes and uh, hard skips. Hard skip meaning it a hard skips cut. that scene. Yeah. It just cuts it that It just piece cuts out. that section out. So you just never see it. Right. While VidAngel may seem like a great service for families with kids, the process of decrypting DVDs and streaming them may be illegal. Big studios like Warner Brothers and Disney are suing VidAngel for copyright infringement. But VidAngel's fighting back. They filed a countersuit for antitrust behavior. We went to BYU's law school to speak with Professor Clark Acey to find out what the likelihood is that they'll be successful. Okay. I'd be highly surprised. I think they lose simply because it's a pretty clear-cut case, right? You're decrypting these works, you, you buy them, okay, that's fine. You can watch them, give them to friends, whatever. But you don't have a right to decrypt it and make a digital copy and then stream it. You know, if they were to win, I think it would just um, drastically change the industry. How okay. so? Well, because VidAngel was okay, if a court ruled that what they were doing is fine under copyright law, all those revenues would be gone. Vice News reached out to the studios for a comment. A representative for Warner Brothers emailed us a joint statement that said, VidAngel continues to invoke the Family Movie Act to distract from its unauthorized activities. Plaintiffs believe that VidAngel's antitrust counterclaims are without merit and have filed a motion to dismiss them. VidAngel is raising money from their fans to fight the studios. Today you can invest in VidAngel and help save filter. In just two days, they met their goal of $5 million for the lawsuit. We're in this for the long haul. You take this to the Supreme Court? Yeah. 